everyone, welcome to my art channel. I hope all is well and that you're excited about um, summer. It's here. It's my favorite season. I honestly don't know how anybody could stay in a bad mood when it's sunny and bright. But unfortunately this week it rained most of the week and in fact it's raining right now. I wanted to record by natural sunlight at my window but it was so overcast that it didn't really matter where I filmed this week's illustration. So I ended up recording in front of my computer at this weird angle because I'm trying not to catch my head and, you know, my shoulder in the shot. So I'm sorry about this angle. And this week's illustration um, was kind of hard to put together because I was very distracted with life and work and the news and I didn't draw very much in the evenings. I was very distracted. But when I forced myself to sit down and actually get into the, the zone of this drawing, I really enjoyed myself. And afterwards, I continued drawing in my sketchbook and hours flew by and it was really enjoyable. So here are the stages of this drawing. So first was the pencil sketch, then a Prisma Micron waterproof ink pen in black. I lined the illustration once and then I switched to a thicker ink pen for a thicker line and more definition. Then I erase all of the pencil lines and this week I decided to skip the watercolors and I used alcohol markers instead. I honestly struggle with watercolors a lot, I don't know how to use them. But I have a friend who's very experienced with watercolors and she offered to give me a lesson so hopefully in this next few weeks my watercolor technique will improve after her lesson. Then after the first layer of the alcohol markers, I began to put down Prismacolored pencils. For the skin, I used a combination of peach, light pink, yellow, and white. And then for the hair, I used a true green and a light blue. For highlights, I used a Uni Posca white ink pen and then I used it for highlights like all over the illustration. Every Christmas, I buy myself a big set of gel pens and I journal with them until they run dry, but I had a few colors left over. I had a glittery bright yellow one that I used in this illustration. I used it for the hair. I used it on the eyebrows and flower patterns of her jacket. I like to add that sparkle and I think it adds the dimension to an otherwise flat image. I also see certain artists set their illustrations on a black or dark background and I tried it a few times and I like it. And this one, I kept it simple, it's just a black background and then I used the Uni Posca pen to add loose wisps of hair. Yeah, and I just, I kept it simple. I don't know about you guys, but summer is my favorite season. I have my birthday in the summer, and I also have very good childhood memories of swimming and playing outside. I think it would be really nice this, this summer to go swimming at the local lakes, and this year is a little bit different because I have a toy poodle, Minnie, and she hasn't she hasn't gone swimming yet, and it's hilarious to watch little dogs learn to swim and swim on their own. And I hope you guys do the same. I hope you guys get outside, get under that sun, soak it in. I lived in the Pacific Northwest where it's overcast and rainy and damp. I lived there for a long time, and I really really dislike that climate like in all caps really dislike that climate and uh, when I lived there I kept dreaming of states like Florida and a warm climate and now that I live in the south I can honestly say I appreciate the hot and sunny um, bright climate and the long long summer that you get to enjoy in the south I it has a huge effect on mood and outlook and Unlike the Pacific Northwest, I don't need six to eight cups of coffee to keep me awake, so that's a win. Yay! So, I wanted to let you guys know that if I stay on track, if I'm good, next week I should release a sketchbook flip-through video of my completed sketchbook, so, so 
I hope to see you guys next week and thank you for stopping by and visiting. I hope you guys enjoy your summer and make the most of it and make some wonderful memories. Okay, hope to see you next week. Bye!